Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be I'm Marie from Southern Country Living and I hope everyone is having a great day today. It's beautiful here today in uh, Georgia. Me and Kevin has already had to get out earlier this morning and we had to have some blood work drawn and that's not any fun. <laughs> but we're back home now and so uh, today I'm making a chocolate sheet cake for two and so uh, it had a pretty good bit of uh, ingredients that I had to get up but um, I think this is going to be a really good cake. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to um, add in my flour. And my sugar, and this was one half cup of all-purpose flour. Now then I'm adding one half cup of granulated sugar. And one fourth teaspoon of salt. And so I'm going to uh, mix this all up. Okay, I've got that all stirred good together. Okay, so for my second step, I'm going over here to my burner and I'll melt this, uh, these ingredients down. And so I'm going to put my butter in get it started melting and I'm going to put in my warm water and my cocoa powder oops Okay, I'm going to heat this up till it just uh, starts to come to a boil, and then I'm going to pour it on my dry ingredients. Okay, my mixture is uh, ready to pour over my dry ingredients now. It almost came to a boil. Chocolate does smell good. <laughs> okay, now then I'm going to put in the rest of my ingredients. And uh, this recipe will be in the description below with the measurements. With such a small amount of uh, flour in this recipe, you wonder how it's going to make anything. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so now I'm going to be pouring it in my 8x8 eight eight pan. get every bit of this out so let me see where is my little blue one there it is I'm gonna use this it makes less racket Now then I'm going to put this in a 350 degree oven for 15 minutes and when it's finished I'll be back to make the ice. Okay. Okay, my cake is ready to come out now. So now then I'm going to make the icing to pour on it. So I'm going to put my butter in. Get my other ingredients over here on the stove. Okay, I'm melting my butter right now. And I'm going to just cook this to it almost comes up to a boil. And then I'm going to pour it on my cake. I'm going to put in my cocoa. My buttermilk. And my powdered sugar. I'm going to mix this all together. Okay, I got this good and stirred up now, so I'm going to put in my vanilla flavoring. It's just a one-fourth teaspoon. Alright, I have my uh, frosting in here now, and it's all mixed up and I think it's all smoothed out now so I'm going to pour it on my cake. So I'm going to smooth this out a little bit.
think it's coated really good now. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is let this cool and then Calvin, he's going to take over and he's going to make a casserole. What's the name of your casserole, Calvin? Uh, I think it's called a hamburger casserole. Okay, and we're going to have this for our dessert when uh, Calvin gets through doing all of his uh, recipe today. So, okay, Calvin, it's yours now. <laughs> okay, Marie has got that cake already finished, sitting over here cooling off. So I'm going to make a little something that we're going to have to eat to go with it. Uh, it's called a hamburger casserole. I've already got my water boiling. I'm going to add one pound of medium shells to it and let them start cooking. Okay. Those will have to cook for about 12 to 13 minutes. So let me set a timer for those. Okay. Now I'm going to start with some uh, hamburger meat, put it in this uh, big skillet here in the front. Get it broke up just a little bit here. When you put two pots on this same side here, when you put two pots on this same side here, it sort of takes up a lot of room. Yes, and they need to sign that stuff properly. Well, it's a small oven, but it's worked good for us all these years, so we're okay. I'm going to add some uh, garlic powder to it, and it says just to add to your taste. Uh, we do like garlic powder, so I'll put a little bit in there. And then I'm going to add some salt and pepper to it. I'm using this big pot because in a few minutes I'm going to have to put all that pasta in here also. Okay, I'm going to let this get browned up and as soon as it gets browned, I'll be back with you. Okay, my pasta is done. So let me get it drained. That was pretty hot, Marie. Okay, I'm going to add all the pasta to the hamburger meat. And next I'm going to add two cans of tomato soup. Turn the heat back on again for a minute. Then I'm going to add a half of a cup of water. I'm going to put, uh, the recipe calls for one cup of mozzarella cheese. I'm going to put about half of it in here. You know, Calvin, that recipe didn't call for a bell pepper or an onion, but I bet that would have been good. It would have really been good with this. Yeah. And then I'm going to put half of the... Uh, cheddar cheese in it. Next time we make it, we'll remember to put that in there. Well, I started to, but I decided just to make it just like the recipe and see how it turns out. Okay, so what you want to do now is just get it all steered up real good. I think it says to steer it in for one or two minutes. Yeah, it's going to be really good. 
it looks good. Uh, I like the way the noodles look in it. We don't use the shell noodles that often, do we, Marie? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go ahead and turn the oven on and let it start heating up. Okay, so this is all mixed up real good. Um, Marie, one thing I think that I'm going to love about it is it looks real cheesy. Yeah. So I think I'm going to love that part. Okay, next step, I'm going to attempt to pour all this into the uh, 9 by 13 without spilling it and making a big mess. I have a hard time picking that big pin up right there, Calvin. This pan is heavy, there's no doubt about it. Okay, I'm going to just sort of smooth it out a little bit, even it up a little bit. This is actually a pretty easy recipe, Marie. Yeah. Somebody wants to try this one. It's real easy to make and it's going to make a big pan of food for a crowd, won't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take the rest of the cheese. This is the uh, Parmesan of uh, the mozzarella and just sprinkle it over the top. And then the rest of the uh, cheddar cheese, sprinkle it all over it. Okay, that looks real good there. So there it is. I'm going to stick this in the oven, a 375 degree oven. I'm going to cover it with some aluminum foil and let it cook for 20 minutes. Then I'm going to take the foil off and just let it brown on the top for about 10 more minutes. So as soon as this gets done, I'll be back with you. Okay, I think this is going to be done. Let me take a check. Uh, it looks real good, Marie. I know one thing, it sure does smell good. Marie, it's extremely hot, so we're not going to be able to eat it for a few minutes. But Marie, how's that look? That looks really good. Let's let this finish cooling because it's still boiling. And in just a few minutes, we'll come back and we'll do the taste test. Hey, y'all, we're back. Marie, your cake looks great over there. And the casserole has cooled down enough that I'm ready to try it. You about ready? <laughs> okay. I'm going to try to get us some out first. And hopefully, well, that pan's still pretty warm, Marie. Yeah, there's still steam coming off of it. There is. I'll go ahead and get a little extra here for my plate. Okay, that'll be my plate. It's good and cheesy looking. Yeah. <laughs> this would certainly feed a big family, wouldn't it? It would. You can make two of these and freeze one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Our grandson called just a little while ago, and I told him what Marie was making. And first thing he said was, can I have some? <laughs> and so we'll fix him up a little plate too. Okay, Marie, there's your plate right there. And, uh, oh, let me get you some. Marie also made us some uh, garlic toast to go with it. Yeah, when we went to uh, Walmart's the other day, I was looking for some breadsticks, but they didn't have any, so this right here will work good. <laughs> okay, I'll let you taste of it first. Marie, you try my recipe. Now, it does look still hot, so be yeah. careful. I put some uh, butter and garlic on my... Uh, bread that I had here at the house mm -hmm. and so uh, it'll work just as good as them 
breadsticks. Oh yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what you always do. <laughs> when I don't have breadsticks. Yeah, that's, that's the way you handle it. Maria, it sure did look good. Mm. While you're trying that, I'm going to try a piece of this uh, cake. Because you know I love chocolate cake, mm -hmm. right? I love the way the fudge frosting is on the top. I know that they can't see this, but it is looking good. Mm -hmm. mm. That cake has got a very good taste to it, Marie. I'm glad you like that. Okay. Now I'll try just a little bite of the uh, pasta. Was it very hot? No, and it, it's really delicious. Okay. Mmm. That is delicious. It is. So I can't wait to eat mine. <laughs> I'm going to finish my plate. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure our grandson will probably be down here in just a little while. He'll be wanting a plate of it too. So. He will. So I'm sure he's going to enjoy it. He loves this type of a meal. Okay, everyone. Um, I'll give the pasta five stars, and I'm going to give the cake five plus stars. Oh. It's real good. You haven't tried the cake yet, have you? No. You going to wait and put some ice cream with yours? Yeah. Okay, well, when she puts some ice cream with hers, I'll take a picture of it with ice cream on it, okay? Hmm. Okay, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this recipe. Uh, everyone have a great day, and we'll see you on our next video. And you know, do what you love and love what you do. And like Kevin said, we'll see y'all on the next video. And y'all try this recipe because it is good. Bye. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. Years later I have started thinking If it's just love